Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. The latest from the Blues treatment room with updates on Reese James, Trevo Chalaba and Noni Maduk ahead of facing Fulham. Chelsea are still unbeaten in preseason after they played out an entertaining 1-1 draw with Newcastle in Atlanta. Nicholas Jackson continued his hot streak, bagging his second in two games to go along with two assists in that time, before former Atlanta United attacker Miguel Almiron pegged the Blues back before halftime. It was yet another young Chelsea side that featured seven players aged 22 or younger in the starting lineup with five more in the same bracket coming from the bench. It was also a chance for Mauricio Pochettino to see two of the most impressive names so far in the US tour play together. First things first, take a minute or two to hit the subscribe button to support this young channel's growth. Turn on the bell icon not to miss a single update whenever a new video drops on the channel and be at the forefront to get notified. Give me a cumulative 100 likes to boost the video's reach, leave a comment to keep the conversation flowing and finally watch the video till the end to get all the relevant information. With that said and done, let's continue. Christopher Nkunku failed to impact the game as he would have wanted but Jackson yet again staked his claim to be the first-choice striker for the new season, slotting in Ian Matson's perfectly timed pass to score once more. There were some notable names missing from the side, though. Both Levi Colwill and Thiago Silva were unused substitutes having started against Brighton. The pair looked good last week, despite conceding three goals. With a game against neighbours Fulham to come, they are only being rested for now. There was a boost as Rhys James started the game as captain to get his first minutes of preseason. Having arrived late due to illness and with ongoing fitness concerns over him, James is being looked after carefully by the management and got 65 minutes here. Speaking ahead of the game the 23-year-old admitted how hard it has been to recover from consistent setbacks recently. It has been difficult. I had a lot of injuries and I haven't played in three months. I am finding my feet again and we have started pre-season well, he explained. I'm back into full training, I'm over the illness. I had to stay behind at Cobham, now I'm back here training with the team and I feel good. James finished, I can't look into the future. I don't know if my injuries are over but I am trying my best to stay on the field. Working hard with the managing staff and the physios to try to make sure I'm ready for every game. He also posted online after the match. Been a long time since I've played, he said on Instagram. But felt good to be back out there again. Another step in the right direction. Honored to have captained my team yesterday. Pochettino also gave an update on James after the game. We need to still work on the balance of the team but so happy after four months Reese can play 60 minutes and it is so important for him to have the feeling of competing, he said. Outside of that it is a near fully fit squad at his disposal. Trebo Chalaba has shaken off an injury picked up against Wrexham to play in the last two matches but Noni Maduk is yet to play after his return from England under 21 duty. He's in Philadelphia, a little tightness in his hamstring but it's not a big thing, Pochettino said afterwards. Precaution for Thiago and Levi and then because we don't have more possibility to play with Angelo, Gabriel, and Lewis, Hall, because we have three players in the same position. It's only Maduk that suffers. Maybe it is a thing that can be sorted in the next few days. He has since posted on Instagram, writing, you'll see me soon. The Blues have time to recover before playing Fulham and will not only be hopeful of securing incoming moves for a midfielder but also finalizing deals away. Hakim Zich and Romelu Lukaku remain isolated at Cobham with Callum hudson Odoi as they seek to find a new club. They were all left out of the preseason tour squad alongside Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who has now completed a transfer to Marseille. There are also a quartet of injured players undergoing recovery at the training ground. Armando Broja, Marcus Bettinelli, Benoit Badiashal and Wesley Fofana are all out for unspecified periods of time. Broja and Badiashal will be hopeful of a return to the side in the coming month after the Premier League's resumption but it could be a challenge to see Fofana back before the end of the season following another damaging setback. It has been said that there is hope for Badiashal to return come the third match of the season which is on August 25th and away to Luton Town. No such date has been set for Broja whilst Bettinelli will hope not to be called upon as a backup goalkeeper. Here is the full Chelsea squad. 
Goalkeepers, Kepa Ariza Balaga, Gabriel Slonina, Eddie Beach, Jamie Cumming, Lucas Bergstrom. Defenders, Thiago Silva, Malo Gusto, Alfie Gilchrist, Bashir Humphreys, Ben Chilwell, Mark Cucurella, Ian Matson, Trevo Chalaba, Levi Colwell, Rhys James. Midfielders, Connor Gallagher, Enzo Fernandez, Andre Santos, Cesare Cassidy, Carney Chukwamika, Lewis Hall. Forwards. Nicholas Jackson, Raheem Sterling, Noni Maduk, Mikhailu Mudrik, Christopher Nkunku, Mason Burstow, Diego Moreira, Angelo Gabriel, Duan Richards. Recovering at Cobham, Armando Broja, Marcus Bettinelli, Benoit Badiashal, Wesley Fofana. Looking for transfer, Romelu Lukaku, Hakim Ziyech, Callum Hudson-Odoi. That's all for now. If you loved the video, consider hitting that like button, take this video to over 100 likes. Leave down an opinion concerning your thoughts. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos by turning on the bell icon as we deliver this videos on a daily basis. Thanks for watching and your massive support. See you later with another video. Bye-bye.